Will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? Irene Dunn was born in Louisville, Kentucky in 1898. So she came from fairly humble origins. But her career was long, her career was varied, she worked in a number of different genres, and she got a lot of accolades. She was nominated for Best Actress five times. As Greta Garbo, everyone would remember her, and, and, and Irene Nunn, in spite of her five Academy nominations for Best Actress, never received one. But her response to that was, Greta Garbo never received an Oscar, and she's a legend. Well, what was really wonderful about her appearance on, on What's My Line is just how, uh, how light and easygoing uh, she could be. You really get a sense uh, of her ability to, uh, to charm. Are you in New York at the present time of... Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> also ventured into comedy. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> she had great comic timing. You can really see this in something like Lady in a Jam, the final scene of which is remarkable uh, in a few different ways. I couldn't tell you how I felt before because that other woman was in your life, but now that you're cured, I feel I can speak freely. I think you're awfully foolish about a lot of things, but then none of us can be perfect, and I want someone to take care of me. I want it to be you. And she's talking faster and faster and faster, and he is kind of embarrassed about what to do and how to deal with her sitting on his lap as she's talking and looking at him and talking, and it's just amazing how she has caught him, captured him as this character completely. Why don't you say something, Ann Wright? It's a wonderful relief. Go on, say something and see how much better you feel. I spent four years in college, yes. four years in medical school, yes. two years as an intern. Yes, keep All talking. I ever wanted to be was a man of science. I, I wanted to do something for I humanity. I know you did. I don't yes. know why this should have yes. to happen to me. No, I know It shouldn't have happened. No, it on. couldn't have happened. Keep talking, keep talking. I would say that she had an extraordinary delivery. You could see that especially uh, in her comedies. Now that I have this, you needn't buy me any more rings. Well, if you don't want any more... What I'd really like now is a nice diamond necklace. It's unfortunate that she's not remembered as much as some of the other uh, famous movie stars from this period. She certainly is not as famous as Cary Grant, for instance, with whom she starred in multiple films. My name is Arden. Oh, yes, Mr. Arden. Hmm? Sorry. Excuse me. I believe that, uh... Hmm? Nothing? Sweet A. These comedies uh, took on um, uh, topical issues of the day, uh, including such issues as divorce and remarriage. Uh, the philosopher Stanley Cobell identified the screwball comedy, the comedy of remarriage specifically, uh, as an important moment in the development of uh, gender parity uh, in America um, in the 1930s and 40s, and Irene Dunn was absolutely central uh, to those pictures. I'd like to have another room. Uh, certainly, sir. Thank you. Very much. What a man. Are you uh, a dramatic actress? <laughs> I'm not in love with you. I thought I was, but I'm not. For Irene Dunn, I think the camera is an adoring lover. That when it sees her beauty, it shows that wholesome goodness within her. You know, it's a funny thing. Some people seem prettier when you dream about them than they really are. But, but you, Drina, you're... You're even prettier than the dream. Thanks so much for coming to see us. Thank you. I've Bye -bye. loved every minute of it. Good to see you. Bye-bye.
Enjoy more Kentucky life. Subscribe now.